I'm sorry, baby bear, blue seas blue. I don't like this book. Man, look at the bird. Hey, look at the bird. He looks mean, huh? Get away, Blue Jay. Get away, Blue Jay. Look at the mom. The mama bear looks all nice and sweet. Look at baby. Yeah. This one's like. Get away. <laughs> look at this one. Get away. <laughs> He's like, hey, what's up, man? Let's be friends. No. Get away. <laughs> My throat is itchy. Mm. Blue Jays. Those are Blue Jays. And these are Black Bears. Oh, wait. He's chasing them now. Look. This is insane. The drawing is dope. Look, the drawing is cool, huh? Hello. The drawing of it? Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't understand. No, no, no. Hey. Look it. Now this one chasing him. It just doesn't make it. Hey, mama bear going? Baby bear sees blue. Baby bear sees blue. And Turn mama bear gone? Turn the page. Let's see. Where's she? Maybe she's behind. She's behind him. Tell me, hello. My hands are full. Turn the page for me. Please. Turn the page. Ooh, okay, <laughs> Please. Come on. Uh, only one page, okay? Oh, there we are. Oh, now they're at getting fish. Nice. Better page. Better page. All right, guys. Peace. Probably looks super poor. But Halloween told me to hide in my closet because my mom just got home. Hey, Cheeks, where's Ella? <laughs> <laughs> what is Cheeks doing with her tail? Oh, she stopped it. As soon as I said Cheeky, she stopped it, huh? Wake it. <laughs> no. You gotta give me your hand. Help you? Hey. Oh, come on. There we go. It's piping hot water. Oh, I didn't even notice. My homie Nip, I could tell you. Fuck the clippers. But I was more thinking about the coffee. Hey. Oh, it's, uh... What? Did you find your ring? No. You dropped it. Took... I mean, it's, it... did it fall in the truck? Yeah. It's not lost. It's in the truck. If we lose the truck, then it's lost. Okay. You okay? Put your feet down. Good job. You're climbing in. Good job. Uh, this is, uh... Okay, sit down. Watch where you're sitting on, though. Is there nothing on there? So Alvin and I are finally getting in. We're gonna go to the playground. It's like four o'clock. Very chilly though. Yeah, it's really chilly. It's chilly outside. Okay. Yesterday, Alwyn, she didn't have a good day at the playground. Today, hopefully she doesn't bother no kids. And no crying, because as soon as you cry, we're leaving, okay? Oh, you good job. We're not going far? Okay, try to push this part. Do you want it on or no? We're not going too far. That's okay. You want to hold this water? Or you want me to hold it up front? Okay. Anyway, uh, peace. Hey. What's up? Don't bite me, okay? So Alan and I found three friends and they have a little dog, so I'm just kicking it with my homie, I guess. <laughs> I didn't look to see if he had a set of balls. See if it's a boy, but I think it's a girl. She even jumped down. Can't go over there. Finish now. You have to go where I want to go. I don't mean to argue with my sister right now, like but instead of actually spanking, like here we're going to the little school. I'm in charge. Where is it? Remember the little school where we walked, cheekies? Up here. Remember? This is where Grandma lives, and then we're going straight. See, where we go walk with Cheekies because I want to go do some bar work. I want to do some pull-ups. So now you're stuck with me because, you know, you're punished. You have to listen to me. I don't want to go to Well, no, we're not going there yet. We're going to go after, okay? We're going to the little park? I'm in charge. We're going. I'm not asking you. Yeah, we're going. We're on our way, okay? Elowin had trouble at the playground. And if my sister watches this, it's just weird because instead of spanking Alwyn and being like, you know, not explaining to her what's going on and like Alwyn, she has an attitude with me right now. I call my sister because I don't know nobody else to call. And any little thing I was saying, my sister was like, <gasps> like attacking me. Dude, I'm calling her. Even in the Bible, it says if somebody does something wrong, I know she's only a little kid. Which is why I didn't just want to spank her. 
Like a part of me was like, I gotta whip that out of her. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta whip that. You know, her not sharing. You know, I gotta. So she's just a little kid. So look at her. Are you mad? Are you angry? She's she, yeah. She's upset. So. But um. Yeah, we're gonna go here. Wanna go here? No. No, this is where we're going. You have no choice. Or you wanna stay in the truck. It's up to you. I don't wanna stay. You gonna get off? That's where we're at, we're right here. School. Well, the school's there, but there's no kids because it's getting dark already. But, um, someone's over there running. But, so, um, here you uh, go. Then stay here because I'm going. So, like, I don't know, like, I want you to see this aloe because there's this park where we go to and there's this recreation where they let you borrow balls. Yeah. The other one has a hard time to share and like not sharing was one thing but her and the girl were like fighting over the ball and she threw the ball at the girl's face Ello, Ello, i gotta go guys i just want her to see. For later when you get older Ello, you can't be mean to kids people won't want to hang out with you if you're not nice to them or if you're mean to them they, they want to be around people they want to have fun with not people who don't want to share or who can't get over their feeling of like you know being scared that someone's taking something from you. Nobody's taking anything. Everybody's equal. Everybody should be able to express himself. And if somebody does something like, oh, that was a great idea, then you come up with another great idea. And that's how you guys get better and you can grow a company together as a team. I hope you understand this when you're older, Aldo. I'm not doing this to be mean, but I love you. And people need to stop attacking me. And I'm just trying to like, like my sister, just like, how dare you? Like, I'm just trying to like call you. I, and to get like a, somebody else to like, I thought she was responsible, like, but everything I was doing was like, well, she's just a kid. <laughs> like, that's weird. Like, open your mind, expand your mind. That's a weirdo. Where's the mail? I got mail. Bro, this is like a small park. Daddy, this is a small the park. Look at mail over there. And this is actually hey, an elementary Daddy. school. Daddy. And somebody decided to. Daddy. I got go over there. I got go over there. He's a runner. He's running. See, he's using the track. Somebody running over there. Daddy, See him? Run. I'm going to go running when Grandma comes. You're going to spend time with her. I'm going to let her know about what happened at the park, though. Yeah, for some reason, this is an elementary school in the suburbs. <laughs> and somebody must have came here at night on a lit one. East side rock maravilla. So, somebody decided to come tag at a elementary school. Baby face. CHS. I have no idea what this is. Tokes. Boxer. Like, bro, you gotta be on a sick one, bro. Like, what the hell's going on right here, bro? It's, it's kind of like... Maybe they have nowhere to go, you know what I'm saying? They're homeless. They're just going against the system, you know? Damn, come on, man. People come here like this guy's running right here. I was gonna bring, bring my daughter over here. I just wanted to show the moon. Look at that weird cloud in front of it, huh? It's like a weirdly. Yeah, it is that weird cloud. Late night run. It's cold. It's extremely cold. I was thinking about running up the hill, but coming down the hill. My body's gonna get warm. You probably would think like, why is he going for a run right now? It's cold. Gotta get my shoes on. I came, uh, came for a late night run. I probably look like shit with the light. Probably see all my pimples and shit, but it's all good right now. It's cold, you see? It's kind of cold up here. So, I didn't go running yesterday. I gave my mom some kind of like, you know, it really bothered me what Halloween did. She threw a ball at someone's face, you know? And uh, those things kind of, uh, and I think in school, I think God willing, she'll be a kid who's uh, able to have friends and like, at least, um be nice to people and want to be around people 
I kind of was the opposite of that. How I kind of would just stick to one person. Had like a best friend, you know? But, um, uh, so, at least so where she, she does that to her friends, like in school and stuff, maybe someone will throw the ball back at her face, you know, because she shouldn't be doing that, so she'll learn. But, um, so it just kind of scares me that, because, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to equip my daughter with all the knowledge, you know? I don't ever really remember anybody ever kind of giving me knowledge about life and how humans operate, you know? I would just hear stories about their life or, you know, I'm sure some of my mom's uh, sweetness to others, obviously I, I got that, you know? Or my like, she kept me away from a lot of things where I didn't have to be in prison at this point in my life or, or you know, dead from the streets, but um, it just bothered me what happened to Halloween and like, because the, the, the mom of the girl that, the girl was, uh, her birthday is in August. She's a month before Halloween. And she was such a little beautiful girl. Like she's gonna get older, you know, she's gonna be beautiful. I told the mom like, she's beautiful. And then, uh, cause when we first got there, it was just Halloween and two girls and two moms. I guess they met each other at that park. Cause one one lady left with her daughter and the, the lady who I seen yesterday, she was there with her daughter, but I didn't really talk to her yesterday. There was a lot of people at the park, but I seen her again. And, um, fucking, uh, never know, some hungry ass cats of the mountain might fucking, just kidding. Guy got me, you know? But, um, you know, there's probably coyotes around here. Um, there's squirrels and maybe some rabbits, so for sure there's probably some, like, coyotes and, I don't know, maybe probably just coyotes. I've seen coyotes running in this, uh, cemetery before. When I was younger, my friends and I, we would actually like drive to the cemetery and just, like be there and smoke and just chill, you know, like have a dope view and maybe drink like a beer, <laughs> you know. We had our spots where we could get it before we were 21 and then just go kick it at the, my truck. Cause the cemetery where we live by, it's like a, we have to drive up a hill. So my truck is too old for all that. Like my truck might overheat or something, but um, um, so what are we talking about? Oh, so the lady that was there with her daughter. So I just kind of got acquainted with her because I like to stay next to my daughter. Maybe like, I just like to stay real close to her and like, cause like I know my daughter, like she might not want to share. Yesterday she had a bad time at the playground. She started crying. Like some bigger kid was probably like 10 years old, had a stick and Alan was like, it's my stick. And she kept crying for the stick. I'm like, I'm trying to get her to the point of, don't worry. If someone doesn't want to share with you, I want her to be enough where she's like happy enough or just has that knowledge enough, like, ha, whatever. I mean, not like that, but like, if you, something that's not yours, you can't cry for it. And even another person, if it's not yours, you can't cry for it. You know, you gotta just move on and say, okay, you know, I want my daughter to be that way to just, you can't cry for something that's not yours. But it, this is little kid stuff, right? I'm sure, you know, you get some of you guys watching this, you know, it, when I do get more subscribers, you'll probably leave comments and you'll probably say like, it's just a little girl thing, you know, it's just a little kid thing. They're going to learn, you know? So I hope so. You know, I think I handled it like very well, to be honest with you, because I, I spank my kids sometimes if she doesn't listen and stuff like, because I think that I need to, so she could learn, you know, I feel like spanking is kind of good because in the real world, people hurt each other, man. They kill each other. They, beat each other up and you know you gotta be humble man you gotta like uh you know be humble and just know that you know you can't say anything you want to people you gotta like use kind words with people and be nice to people and don't talk behind people's backs you know and don't say mean things to them and don't steal from people don't you know mess with a, some, a, a, a person if they're with somebody you know keep your word don't say anything don't let somebody borrow something if you're gonna want it back. Like these little things that you just have to like tell your kid and then and maybe one day they somebody steals something from them or somebody pushes them or somebody hits them. Like, oh, I hit somebody before, so like or whatever, you know, like but that mom, you talk about the mom, you know. She she uh, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful lady. Um, but she's uh she's tall and but she's uh she, you know, she's a. Uh, 
a little bigger. She's a chunky lady, you know, but she's beautiful. And she's like tatted up, but she's a sweet lady, like. I like a weird ass whistle, but she, um, yeah, the freaking light. She, uh, she uh, has a, uh, she has tats all over her body, but she, uh, she, um, fuck, what was I saying? I'm all spooked down. I thought I heard like a whistle and shit. She, uh, she has a tattoo like across her, her eyebrow. And it, 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 but she can tell, you can still see the beauty through her. And like, it makes sense because her daughter's beautiful. Like, your little daughter is such a little beautiful girl. But, and like, uh, I think that, uh, I don't know. I'm not saying that's where she gets it from, just her, her mom, you know? But, uh, I don't know, the mom, she, she, uh, I don't know why I asked her. I just asked her, you always come here? And she's like, well, when I don't work, my daughter comes here with her grandma. Or when I'm working, the daughter comes with the grandma. And I don't know. I wanted like to talk to her, but there was another man with like two of his kids, and well, he was kind of like scoping her out. So I was like, yeah. I don't really know, you know. But uh, but she looks freaking beautiful, like you know, she, just to like have like a casual thing with her would be freaking amazing. But um, I'll probably see her again. But but see like. And then it was like maybe five o'clock. I guess there's this after school program. I guess the kids that were inside the after school program, they wanted to come outside and play. So there's like these park employees, you know, the young kids that do like maybe a winter program or, you know, they're young. They're maybe in high school, they're after high school, they come and work after. But they brought out like this whole thing of balls, this basket of balls and hula hoops. And so I see Alwyn and the little girl run over there. The little girl and Alwyn run over there and they're closer to the mom and the mom's like looking. And I guess you have to like sign out. You have to sign like some... Uh, some blank paper you got to sign your name and uh so i didn't know that because i was far i was kind of far just keeping an eye on them i seen they were around the park you know the park employees so i didn't even trip like you know someone's gonna grab her and run and shit like that so i was kind of just uh letting them do their thing and then um, the lady it would have been cool if the lady would have signed like just signed for my daughter too because my daughter was still over there by the people giving away the you know, the, the supplies to play with, the balls and stuff. And so I, the lady, the, the girl, the, the mother, I mean, she had to be like around 30 years old, maybe more or less around my age. She's like, oh, you have to sign out your daughter. I'm like, oh, no wonder my daughter's right here. So I just signed out and I kind of small talked the people who worked at the park. Cause there was like some middle school kid. He was like, oh, what's your daughter's name? And he was working. I'm like, what? That's pretty cool, man. Keep it up, blah, blah, blah. And then like right away, I guess Alwyn had a jump rope. And that little girl she was playing with, whose mom I'm telling you about, she she had a ball. She had a little ball. All of a sudden, the little girl grabs the ball, and Ellen was like, that's my ball. And then Ellen was like playing tug-of-war with the ball. I think Ellen finally got the ball from her, and she flicks it at the girl's face. And by this time, the, 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 the mom, she was like sitting down, but the bench faces the other way, so she was kind of twisted. So as soon as Ellen threw the ball at her face, she gets up like just like like ugh, like it bothered the fuck out of her like it was probably bothering her that my daughter would didn't want to freaking share like i don't know my daughter kind of she's low-key kind of annoying sometimes she like she just goes and grabs some like you know the little crying a little it's like can't you just just go have fun like somebody doesn't want to let you share or let you use her thing or if all of a sudden you're playing with somebody and they got a scooter and they jump on their scooter and going faster and she starts chasing them she can't keep up she starts crying, but again, she's only three. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't want to know no parents on her football team. I don't want to know, or that football team, or if she plays any sport, I don't want to know any parents. I'm just focus on her to be good or be prepared, not good, but just focus on her and teach her. And if any parents are like humble and want to come to talk to me, I'll be friends with them, but I don't want to be friends with, I'm not going to go try to be friends and try to be in the mix of like some football some or not football some rec league or whatever sport my daughter wants to play and um or any type of things that she does if she don't want to do art she wants to do acting theater she wants to do swimming or track you know we're gonna prepare and stuff so so she can have fun with it and be like oh winning's pretty cool or like i got second place wow all i had to do was a little bit extra and she's gonna see like improvements and stuff and so like I don't know what so i don't want to be a part of these like these things because these parents want to compete with each other and like you know always want to like you tell something about your kid and then they come back with something about their kid and it's like 
don't you read this stuff? They say friends don't, friends are there to listen, not to like tell you something about them that was going on or, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just like, no, I just want to pay attention to my kid and like always correct her and like be her eye from a distance that cares about her and loves her, you know? So when that lady got up from when my daughter like threw the ball, I tell her, I'm so sorry. I didn't really know how to act. Like I look, I look at the little girl to see her reaction. She was just like, or whatever it hit her, she was just touching it. She was super. But my daughter right away knew she did something bad. So she starts crying like, ah. so I pick her up. And I tell the lady and I give the ball. I didn't know what to do. I paused for a little bit. I said, something, something in my mind said, just give the ball back to the little girl. Let her know it's her ball. And I said, it's your ball, okay? And I told her, mom, like, I'm sorry. Cause you know, you get that feeling of like tense, like, like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, so I, we go right away. I don't even look at the lady again. I just say sorry and we leave. And my, this time my daughter screamed like louder than I ever. She screamed, I don't want to go. And I, and I was I'm holding her like, Aloe, you know, I'm not playing with you right now. And so I'm like, I told her, I'm going to have, I want to spank you when we get in the car. But, I, but by the time we got to the car, I said, I'm going to call my sister. Cause it's like, it's two more people in you. Like, but all of a sudden I call my sister and she starts saying, well, what did you teach her? And like, what? How does that make it any better? You know, maybe I should have texted my sister and broke it down to her because she's not, she's silly. Like, like you, these people don't like, I love my sister. Many people go through this, but these people don't know. I raised my kid. I'm around my kid. They don't know. Just like my baby mama could say, yeah, how can you say, how can you say, oh, but it's something you taught her or like, who are you? You're not even around all the time. Who are you? It's like, these people are foolish. People are fools. Like I'm calling you so we could talk out loud, like a counsel to my daughter. So she knows like two or more, two or more people agree that you did something bad. So this person's not crazy. They're not just always, uh, always on my back. I'm, but the, this, your, your Thea said the same thing. You can't throw nothing at somebody's face. Everybody agrees with dad. So I must've done something bad. Like, like why do you want to correct me? Why do I need to be corrected? Give me an example of why I need to be corrected. Speaking about like my sister and, you know, and just in that sense, like why, why do I have to be corrected? Like you should have been like, yeah, that's, you know, Elowin, you shouldn't, but, but instead it was, uh, I hear birds, any owls around here? So, um, why should I have to be corrected? Like, it, and that made me upset. Like, and I just hung up on, I should have, cause I did in front of my daughter, but it was like, Bro, that's, how can you tell me, like, if anything, I'm a father, you're not even a, a parent, like, certain people when they want to tell you, you know, but I love my sister, it's just like, people need to expand their mind, they're like stuck, like, why are you so worried, like, what am I doing to my kid, like, I'm not doing anything, I don't, I don't see her going to be all fucked up, and I, I, I don't, I don't see it, you know, if it is, it's because the world we're fighting, it's because the world we're fighting against, like, like my brother, I don't want to, well, I'm going to say because he's passed away, you know, and I'm talking about him and maybe he knows it in spirit, like, you know, maybe his, my nephew, when I'm gone, he'll see these videos in life and he'll be like, damn, you know, my uncle did try to kick on me a couple of times and he tried, you know, he talks about me on his vlogs and like, my, my brother went to a cat, like a, a Catholic high school. He got kicked out of there, you know, for, you know, fighting you know kid stuff you know so it's not you know catholic schools kick you out for whatever man even for threatening like my, my buddy cuba got kicked out of catholic school for just saying something like something like i'm sure like now they, they don't even fucking budge when kids say it even in catholic school but um it, it would it would like I, I love my daughter you know what i'm saying she loves me like um her mom loves her her she has good grandparents, like they love her, you know? And I don't know, you just gotta watch out with your kids. Like it's a trip now, like, you know, like, you know, you have to have that talk with your daughter about, yeah, you can't be touching other kids or, 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 or animals. You can't, you know, be touching me or putting your face around people's privates and things like that, you know? Like I had to like, cause my baby mama's great grandma who watches her, who watches her also when she's with her mom and her mom's working that I guess she was with a little boy and the grandma noticed my daughter being kind of like curious and like, it just has to, I'm glad that she, I'm glad that conversation is being spoke, you know? So that way I get more comfortable with it. Cause as a father, it's like, ugh. you know, I can only imagine all the silly things I've done with women and probably stuff I wouldn't want to share with my daughter. And 
you know, maybe she might experience stuff like that, but I just hope she's not investing emotion somewhere where it shouldn't be invested. That's what I'm really gonna talk to her about because I have invested emotions where it shouldn't be invested, but I have also took advantage of women who gave me their emotions, you know, and I can easily say that, you know. But like I said, they gave me their emotions. So um, we all mistakes. We all make mistakes when we're younger. The best thing to do is take responsibility. But um, but back to my daughter, like, you know, there probably is people out there that are, they're probably wishing bad or like laugh. Like, I can't believe this guy, you know, karma's real. I can't believe this guy is really hoping something good or for his daughter to avoid situations I was in or might've put a female in when it came to her, their feelings, you know? So, but I mean, I don't, I don't do this shit for you guys. You know, I really don't even care. Like, you know, like, I love my sister. I love you, Jessica, if you're watching this, you know? So it just, like, I wish people could be, like, this life is too short. And, like, it's, it's it's not even about me. It's about my kids. So why are you trying to, like, come at me? Like, it was just, it was just weird to me. It was, things are odd to me, man. Things are really odd to me. The way people are seeing things in life. And people need to smoke some weed and open up their mind, bro. Or something. Do some shrooms or do something to open up your mind and be like, you know, these things are, uh, I don't do these stuff. You know, I'd say I've never done it once or twice, but I'm, I'm not saying I do it all the time, but you know, people do certain things for um, therapeutic reasons and these, uh, you know, antidepressant uh, rituals and things like that, that people have been doing before we had the internet, before, you know, there was this thing called hell. I, I, I don't think we were ever really born and when all we had was uh, our family around us, you know, we didn't have McDonald's. Like, I could imagine, like, feeding a kid back then is because you killed your food. You probably just, it felt like it would, like, like now that we're so used to not doing that, I could imagine it being so awesome, like, feeding your kid something you actually want to go out and hunt and kill, even though you're doing it probably, like, using some sort of four-wheeler and some fucking harpoon or, or some fucking arrow that's not even a bow and arrow it's like some sick ass machine <laughs> you know some sick ass you know the arrows that they have nowadays they're like super high tech um so i mean like but back then when you did that and you fed your family it was like probably like just it was innate you know it was just instinctual so like I think about it now from now being so advanced and so take things for granted that you look back like, man, it must have been like a beautiful experience, you know? On Netflix, there's this thing called Animal. It's about animals and stuff, obviously. It's something new. I'm pretty sure people are like, oh yeah, it was dope. So they, 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 the camera work is amazing. And you see them feeding their kid, their newborn kids. And it's like, man, that's such a beautiful thing, Okay, You know what I mean? I'd seen a light, but I don't see it. For sure, it looked like a car was coming up. But um, it's very cold. I'm gonna have to run right now. So, and um, so yeah, just like my sister probably won't ever get it. You know, she probably won't ever understand. Like, why did he react that way? Why this? So like, but it was like, like it's best. Like if it's more like it should have been easily like, hey, hello, you can't do that. You know, because I had told my my sister like I wanted to spank her, but I called you like. Well, you can't spank her. Like I didn't. I just said I didn't. I didn't spank her. So I called you. Like I'm. I'm fighting against my own. Like somebody's telling me I should be able to hit, hit my daughter. But what if I just punish her and don't allow her to have TV and take something away from her that she wants? And like that'll probably work, you know. And, she, and then she doesn't know to hit somebody else. Like so I spank her. Maybe that's why she hits people. But it doesn't mean like I know that. I'm trying to get better from it. That's why I didn't hit her. That's why I called you to to speak as a second, you know, witness, like, yeah, that's not right what you're doing. So she knows that, like, oh, dude. And she feels a little embarrassed. And I tried to tell her how I felt. I told Ella, I, I felt embarrassed, Ella. That lady was being a friend to me. And, and now my daughter throws something at her. And I told her, like, she probably, maybe, what if she wants to hit me or something? Because she was obviously pissed off, you know? She was like, it's fine, but still, like, I think they left right away, too. But, so I tried to, like, speak to my daughter. And she got it. I told her, no Happy Meal, no... No phone, no TV, nothing. Like, you don't get anything. No, no chocolate milk. You know, you just get all water. And like, 
And then another thing was like, you know, I'm grateful for my mom. She's helping me out, you know, she's helping me and I'm doing my best. I'm trying to do my YouTube stuff. I'm trying to figure out any way to get some sort of algorithm running where I can get some followers, subscribers. I'm even reading to you guys. Like, I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure out how to survive in this life where I feel most comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So, and I had just an awakening, like, like, I hadn't been, like, smoking weed for, like, this past, and I was, like, trying to be a plumber, but I was having so much um, problems at work, you know, socially with people and anxiety and these ideas in my head, like, everybody hates me because I don't eat with them at lunch, and I'm assuming these assumptions that, you know, everybody, like, I'm not a team player, so everybody has these ideas about me, but I should have never gave a fuck, but these, I, these weird things in my head that play of, like, all the negative outcomes and you know, these ideas that oh, every, nobody likes me, so I have my guard up and I'm anxious and I can't be in a room with people because I'm already afraid before I walk in the room thinking they want to hurt me. And so, and that causes them to be like, what's wrong with this guy? Or like, you know, you might show up and meet somebody for the first time and have this tense, tense wall up and like they might feel it, and, and they, but it's really like fear within me and, and insecurities and um, maybe instability and paranoia that that first impression, they're already like, this guy's weird. He don't eat lunch with us. And then they start getting their own ideas that you think you're better. And, and, and maybe you might have made them have a little sense of fear, a little guard up. And they turn that into like, fuck that guy, you know? They turn their maybe insecurity and fear of me into hate and judgmental. And, and you know, and then they start realizing, oh, this guy is just kind of a, this guy has a lot of fear in them and they and they team up and they kind of prey on that fear you know just to kind of get you out of there out of that job or something like that's happened to me before but um you know but really it was like it was not against you it was nothing had nothing to do with you it's these 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 childhood tra traumatic situations that i was in whether it was traumatic like i was in this in danger before or just or just having my fears you know things that happen in the households or you know just other certain things that i don't really like to discuss but and i could if you ever asked me it's nothing like crazy or anything and and but it does, it does have an effect on an individual when they're young and they just know how it's making them feel but they don't realize like you're gonna turn 20 and 30 and so much more life and you're gonna accept finally accept who you are later on so you don't have to feel so much about how it's making you feel and how it's making you feel it's just how it's making you feel it's not who you are you know so but um so i love my mom and i thank her for what she's helping me you know and so i'm not gonna like complain about her you know like but it's it just like just how she is so i want to give you guys a little idea like so my mom like i i called them after we left the park just to see if they were at the house and you know they said they were out to eat do you want something i'm like yeah just give me a burrito or something and get my daughter just beans and rice like you know that you could always make her a sandwich or you know just beans and rice is cool you know even if she don't eat it so sure enough we got to the house and i, I make her i only made one packet of oatmeal for her and then i put some nesquik some of the chocolate powder and i mix it up so it turns into chocolate oatmeal and uh so she actually like ate like one bowl and I was happy for that. And then she's like, oh, I want another one. So I made her another one. I made me a sandwich, but she didn't want a sandwich. I ate it just so I, I would have energy to run, you know? So uh, I uh, was going to make her, I, I, I already made her a second bowl of oatmeal. But then my mom gets home. So I'm like, cool, you know? But she comes in with the Happy Meal. And I didn't say nothing. I didn't say anything. But my daughter, see? She, you know, she's only three. She remembered. Because even when my daughter was crying, she heard my sister say, my sister said, she's only three. <laughs> I'm like, and that, and I, and so my, my daughter started crying, I'm only three. <laughs> that was funny. I'm only three. <laughs> she's funny. So, um, so I, I was like, but I was trying to keep a, I wasn't trying to laugh ever, you know, I wasn't trying to laugh, you know, and then, um, you had the gunshots that are still in the shooting range. But so, I didn't want to laugh, and I didn't. I feel like I did a good job. I, I kept talking to her. I held her in my arms like, Ello, did you do good or right or wrong? She said, wrong. Would you be nice or mean? Mean. She might have slipped up a couple times. I had to tell her, 
No, you want to be nice or this so and so, whatever, vice versa. So, but my mom came with the with the Happy Meal, and then um, I was like, oh, you got her a Happy Meal, and then right away my mom was like, like this lady, she has no chill, no like, why? Like you know some moms like I've had friends growing up and like, don't feel no way, mom. You know, like even though we don't get along a lot, we get irritated around each other. It's like we love each other, but we don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, uh, so, uh, I wonder if it's like, I'm gonna get like a random walk around now late at night. Am I the last one on this trail? But, um, so, so, um, so she walks in with a Happy Meal. And all kind of knows, like, she kind of knows that, like, I'd rather my daughter, like, you could have got her some beans and rice, lady. Like, like you don't have to get her a happy meal. Like, you know you're just trying to spoil her. Like, honestly, you're trying to get her a toy. Like, my mom bought her a happy meal yesterday. You know, and, I, and I'm not complaining because this is America. You feel me? Like, we have nothing to complain about in America at all. We have nothing to complain about, you know. It's just like one of those teaching moments. And, and I'm saying this as someone who's trying to learn from what he says because I've... I'm, Man, we complain about the stupidest shit, man. Like I said, shit that happened to you when you were young and like a young ass kid. And you look up like, damn, I really wasted all those years, you know? And smoking weed kind of like wakes me up like, why the fuck are you in a bad mood, you know? Like we get to be scared and like wanting to appreciate and be like, I'm sorry and cry out to God. Like, God, don't, you know, I want to be happy. I want to talk to people. And I don't want to like not be an asshole and a dick and, you know? Even though I know I have a lot to work through, you get me? I have so much to work through. You know, damage done with substances, substance abuse, you know, damage done with the uh, things, situations that I put myself in, you know, you know, where, where my conscience lies, you know? So, so I, 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 and my daughter, like she, I just told my mom like, oh, like, oh, you bought her a happy meal? And right away my mom like, she thinks I'm attacking her. Wow, she needs to eat, like, why don't you just let her eat? I'm like, she just had one bowl of uh, oatmeal and I made her a second one. But Halloween knows because when I told her no Happy Meal when she did what she did, you know, when I was correcting her and like, she, she was like, my daddy said I can't have any. And she's like, so why do you keep telling her not to have any? When, when did you tell her? And I'm like, lady, you've been in here the whole time. I never told her she could have it. I told her earlier when she made that mistake that when she threw the ball in someone's face that she couldn't have a Happy Meal. She just remembers. And I, I, I can't even really talk to her like this where it's like, she would have already talked like, thinking I'm attacking her and like, like let her eat, like, ah, ah, like I'm like, lady, like, oh, cause what happened was now I remember when she walked in with the happy meal, I said, hey, it's cause Alwyn threw a ball at a little kid's face and I told her she couldn't have a happy meal. And she's like, so? And then she corrected herself like, oh, not so, like she shouldn't be throwing a ball at someone's face, but I didn't want her to eat. And then, it was just like an argument that I wasn't trying to attack my mom. I, I was like wanting her to be fucking like, like my sister, like how she was misunderstood and attacking me. She should have been, hello. You know what? You can have the food in there, but you can't have your toy. Something. I didn't even think about that till now. I should have said that. But uh, other ones, I don't know. Like I said, she's only three, you know, and I was more pissed off before I started running. Like. I was more pissed off about this than what I'm speaking now. And I really don't care what people think, you know? You know, that's why I, I'm, I'm choosing not to argue with my mom, because I know I stay with her, you know? And my mom's the type of person, she, she threatens she threatens that I have to leave like every other day, you know? I think even today she might have done it yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I don't remember, but. So yeah, that was just a situation at the park, like, when she threw the ball, the baby's face, like, if we filmed it, and even the mother and I, if we watched it later, she probably would you know, watch it later, cuddled up and shit. But no, if she, if she watched it later, then she probably would be like, that was funny or whatever. And like, but it was, it's embarrassing, you know? I even told her, like, because we were kind of commentating the way our kids interact, like, because like, we kind of talked a little bit, and then I kind of did my own thing, because, like I say, I, like, so what am I going to do? Should I just chop it up and be funny with her and make her my friend? I don't know. I'd rather get at her, you know? And be like, you know, damn. She, she had a beautiful face. She was tatted up everywhere. You could, when she was younger, she probably was a dime. You feel me? You know, she had a, she wasn't like a fucking skinny model. You know what I'm saying? And she wasn't like, she, you know, she's a mother. You know, but her face is beautiful. 
And um, so, uh, yeah, that was just what went on over there. But I even told her, like, yeah, that's why I don't like coming to the playground sometimes. Because, like, when your kid doesn't want to share, it feels like you're a shitty parent. You know what I mean? So and she, just, she was laughing a little bit, but she was a very sweet lady. And she probably into real, like, real gangsters, you know, like, guys that are actually gangbanging shit. I don't know. She seemed like a super sweet girl, that sweet woman that was just loved her kid and, you know, working and changed her life. Like, I, I admire her, bro. She's, like I said, she's tatted in her face. She's tatted pretty much everywhere. She has a lot of tats. And um, you can tell she probably was a, probably banged herself. She probably wasn't a gang herself or, you know, was into those type of men. So but, um, I wanted to ask her more, like, where you work with those face tats and shit? Like, damn, I want to work with you. You know, you seem cool. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna see her again, the lady again. I'm gonna maybe we'll make us closer. Like, I don't know. Alwyn has to apologize, though. It's gonna be weird because she might be like, Look at a little bratty daughter. Like, she, she don't give a shit. But nah, that's just me being paranoid. And, like, she might just be like, you Gotta watch your kid, you know, or just. I would like that lady to tell my daughter something. Maybe I'll tell her, hey, can you tell her that that wasn't nice? So my daughter kind of gets like a, oh shit, the mom of the lady I threw the ball, the, the mom of the daughter that I threw the ball at told me something. So I've been talking for 30 minutes, but I got to go. Peace. So I got home from running and Ella was asleep. So she brings like, dad was like, just always catching me asleep. But um, that means I could read some more for y'all so i'm gonna upload the one i did this morning i can read it um you guys can read the whatever peace yeah shout out to this fire burrito man i don't want to sleep